Hello, Paradise Panther artists. My name is Mrs. Telfer, and I'm excited to tell you about our next master artist, Henri Rousseau. Henri was a French painter who was born in 1844. His favorite subject to paint was the jungle. But before we take a walk through the jungle, we will need to get ready. So let's go ahead and put on our safari hats. And let's pretend to put on our hiking boots. All right. Let's go ahead and try some of these jungle sounds with me that we will hear as we make our way through the jungle. The first sound I would like you to practice with me is feet walking. Go ahead and slap your lap one at a time. This is walking. And stop. The next sound I would like you to practice is feet running. You're going to do the same motion, just go a little bit faster. Running. And stop. The next motion I would like you to practice with me is wind in the trees. Go ahead and rub your hands together. This is wind. And stop. The next sound I would like to practice is raindrops hitting the leaves. Go ahead and snap your fingers one at a time. And stop. The last sound that we're going to practice together is lightning crashing overhead. Lightning is going to be a quick clap. Try it with me, a quick clap. That's lightning. And stop. Now that we're ready for our journey, I will lead us through the jungle as you make the sounds that we just practiced. When you hear any of those words that go with the sounds, that is our cue to make the right jungle sound. All right, let's get started on our exciting jungle journey. Here we go, artists. As we slowly walk into the jungle, go ahead and do it with me, we wonder what adventures we will have and stop. As we go further into the thick jungle, it's getting darker and darker and we can't see the sun anymore. <gasps> what was that sound? We start to run. Run with me. And stop. As we quickly peer around to see if we're alone. It gets darker still and the raindrops slowly hit the trees. Do it with me. Raindrops. And stop. Now the wind is blowing harder. Do it with me. And it makes the rain even louder. Stop. Are we caught in the middle of a big storm? How bad will it get? Will the animals in the jungle become frightened and come out in the storm? And what kind of animals might we meet? Oh, lightning just lit up the sky. Do it with me. And stop. And the rain, it's starting to come down harder and harder. And stop. I hear something. I hope it's not a wild animal. Here we see a tiger. I would be pretty afraid if I was in front of this wild beast. Here we see a violent storm with wind, 
lightning, and rain. But we're all done with our jungle sounds, so go ahead and keep your hands down and just listen as I describe the scene. The title of this painting is Storm in the Jungle. It even looks like it's thundering there too. The wind is whipping the rain through the tropical jungle. The tiger is running in wild panic as the lightning and thunder frighten him. The tiger looks dangerous with its snarling teeth and it's ready to pounce as it's hiding. Let's meet the artist who painted this exciting jungle picture. I wonder if he lived in or near a jungle. I would like to introduce our master artist, Henri Rousseau. If I hadn't told you, you probably could have guessed that he was an artist. By the palette and brush in his hands, as well as his hat. As you can see, Henri was very proud to be an artist. But here, he didn't place himself in the jungle. He looks to be near a city. And we see a boat in the background. Paris is where Henri lived. He saw himself as the total artist, very proud, standing tall and prominent. If you look very closely behind the flags, you will see a tower in the background that is very famous. Does anyone know the name of this famous tower in the city of Paris, France? Go ahead and raise your hand if you have an idea and your teacher will call on you. Yes, the name of this famous tower is the Eiffel Tower. Well done. It is called the Eiffel Tower and it is a famous landmark in the city of Paris, France. Paris was Henri's city and he painted the city time and time again. He was not anywhere near a dark and dangerous jungle. And it might surprise you to know that Henri never traveled to a jungle at all. I wonder then, how did he know how to paint a jungle? Henri found many ideas for plants in the botanical gardens in Paris. He made many trips to the botanical gardens there to study the tropical plants growing in glass greenhouses. He said, when I step into the garden and see the plants from far off lands, it seems to me that I am in a dream. He excitedly collected every possible kind of leaf he could find in order to draw and paint them. Let's look back at his painting, Storm in the Jungle. In this painting, there are more than 50 values of green. Value is how light or dark a color is. Here, we can see a very dark value of green in this plant in the foreground right here. We can also see a very light value of green in these leaves in the trees. Excellent, you will be using many values of green in your art activity. In the Paris Botanical Gardens, there were not any wild animals for Henri to draw. Actually, Henri never saw a real tiger. He did have a beautiful animal book from a department store that he studied. In that book were tigers and lions. Look at the faces of these lions with their wide eyes staring straight at us. 
These lions look like they are afraid of something. Henri paints them differently to show us they are not attacking us because they aren't showing their teeth. But they are hiding and they do look surprised. The mood has changed from the scary and dangerous tiger to a scared lion here. Again, we see many values of green in this painting. I want you to picture Henri at work on his rainforest paintings. He was known to have worked inside his studio seven days a week from morning till night. He worked with only one color at a time, and I bet you can guess what color he usually started with. Green. He would fill in all those areas where he wished to have green. Only then would he change colors. He would put the animals in last of all. Did Henri learn his painting technique at art school? Actually, his family was so poor that it was impossible for Henri to go to art classes to learn the techniques and rules of painting. So he painted the world just as he saw it, with his own eyes, or how he imagined it. His pictures seldom are realistic, but instead they show his desires and dreams. He told a friend, nothing makes me as happy as looking at nature and painting it. Even though he never had music or art lessons, he won prizes at school for art and music. Let's revisit the jungle in another Rousseau painting. I wonder what animal will Henry include in this painting? I will give you a clue. They are sometimes called the clowns of the jungle. Monkeys. Let's see if he painted any of these monkeys. It is fun to watch monkeys clowning around at the zoo. As you look at Rousseau's monkeys, imagine as he did, hearing their screeching and chattering. They are playing with oranges and they're enjoying their game. Here we see many interesting plants and trees surrounding the monkeys. Let's look closely at the shapes of the leaves and flowers. Here we see heart-shaped leaves on the tree on the right. Here is a flower petal that looks similar to an angel. It's this white flower on the right. Now we can find long pointed shapes on the bottom in the grasses in the foreground. Henri looked so carefully at each shape. He noticed the tiniest details. Let's see what Henri dreamed in this next unusual painting. I wonder if there will be an animal in his dream. The mood in this unusual painting is dreamlike, strange, or quiet. It is one of Henri's largest and most unusual paintings. The lion looks calm, and this painting makes you feel quiet. Henri describes this scene in a note he wrote when he was trying to sell this painting. A wandering music prayer sleeps in deep exhaustion, her jug beside her, a lion happens to pass that way and sniffs at her, but does not devour her. The scene takes place in a completely dry desert. 
Here, we do not see any plants, flowers, or trees. None of Rousseau's other works are set in a totally treeless desert. But notice something strange in the background. We can find water. In the background, between the lion and the hills, we see water right here. I'm wondering, why would there be so much water in the desert, but nothing is growing there? Here we see that anything is possible in a dream. Even his title seems dreamlike. It is called The Sleeping Gypsy. We can even see interesting details in the full moon. There seems to be a man in the moon face. Here, the mood changes again in this painting. We can sense terror or danger. Many times, Rousseau vividly turns our attention to the harsh realities of the animal world. The lion is viciously attacking an antelope with its teeth and claws. Can you find any other wild creatures that are lurking in the dense foliage of the jungle? Go ahead and raise your hand if you spot a creature, and your teacher will call on you. Great, here we can spot a leopard in the tree. We also spot an owl up here, and a bird over here. And on the left, we see a large black creature. This large creature looks the least realistic of all the animals. Perhaps it is a gorilla. Let's see if this next painting is realistic or dreamlike. We will see monkeys again in the jungle, but will they be acting like clowns? Let's find out. These monkeys do not look playful. They look serious, frightened, quiet, and hiding. Very different than the other monkeys acting like clowns in the jungle. I hope you enjoyed your adventure into the jungle and the dreams of Henri Rousseau. I know you will enjoy creating a jungle scene in your art activity coming up next. Now, repeat after me as we say goodbye in French. Au revoir. Go ahead, try it with me. Au revoir. I will see you next time, Paradise Panther artists. Have a great day.